Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to briefly talk you through programming a Gate Titan. Hi guys and welcome back. If you enjoyed my video today, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So hopefully you've seen my previous video in which I've installed a Gate Titan in this KWA T6 from one of my subscribers called Douglas. I'll uh, move his patch out of the way. And uh, a few people asked me to sort of just show what the programming looks like on this. So this is the advanced version. So it has got more advanced options to configure, uh, more you can configure. Uh, and what I'm using here is in the advanced set, you get the USB link chip that uh, connects onto the Dean's connector of the Titan. So I'll just slide that in there. And then you get a variety of cables. On this occasion, I'm using a spare phone I've got, which is USB-C at one end and micro USB at the other. So the micro USB goes into the chip like that. And what I'm going to do is bring in my phone, unlock the phone, and I'm going to open the app up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this in. The light on the chip has come on, and it's asked me if I'm going to want to do this. Allow it, which I do and it's connected, it's read the serial number, and it's read the settings. So first thing I can do is, oh, I want to show you, is I'm gonna go down to sensors, and uh, what I can do here is in sensors, it's to show me the trigger. And what I can do is if I pull the trigger, it's showing me that it's reading it on all of those contacts. And then what I can do then is on the next bit down, I can set the trigger sensitivity. So the higher the sensitivity, the higher the number, the further I have to pull the trigger to fire. The lower down it is, and uh, Douglas said he wanted a short trigger. So now it's on a tiny little trigger pull to get it to read that first, um, first trigger pull, and it'll fire straight away at that point. I can then go to the fire selector and it's currently reading that it's safe and that's absolutely perfect. And then if I move it to semi, it clicks to semi and then to auto. So I know that the sensor can read the sticker and everything. And then the last one is gear and it's telling me that it's reading that the gear's not quite come fully round. So it's reading a break in the gear uh, and not got to a tooth yet, which is absolutely fine because we were firing it earlier. So I'm then gonna go back and change some more of the settings. So if I come to settings, in here, I can do things like changing the fire selector mode uh, to be a variety of different ones. I can enable pre-cocking. I can look at burst modes and things like that. So there's a variety of options in here that we can look at and configure. And all of these settings are all automatically configured and saved straight to Gate Titan. So there's no saving or anything. And as soon as you're done, you just pull out the cable and that's it. It's done and dusted. The app is absolutely brilliant and it's dead easy going. Uh, the other thing that it tells you as well is if I go back to the dashboard, it does tell you that there is uh, firmware additions. I've got no internet connection at the minute but uh, on this device, but there are two uh, beta versions of software. I haven't updated this one. I've just left it at the current standard of 2.2 um, because I didn't want to mess too much uh, with this going back to the customer soon. He can do this if he wants. Uh, so. That's everything, your statistics are on there and it tells you how many BBs you've shot in total, what your uh, average uh, rounds per second is uh, and various things like that. And you can upload this to um, Gate and they hold like uh, scoreboard listings on their website as well. So I hope you found that useful. Um, it is particularly good if you're having issues to read the sensor data, uh, to have a look at the sensors. And if it does generate an error, you can go to diagnostics and it would show you the error message there, which can help you diagnose issues with this. I hope this has been useful to you. Uh, please do like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And I will see you next time. Bye.